doctor. You guys are chatterboxes. What is up? I just hope you're happy in the Lord. You're not? Do we need to pray over you all or what? You know, it's good to be in the, in the Lord's house. To just be able to come and, and lay our, our uh, burdens and, and all our messes on, on the ground in front of Jesus' feet and be restored and be renewed. You know, if we come in the door there to, to learn and to serve and not to come in and be selfish and to be served and what I can get, we always can hear a good word from the Lord. We always can believe more like Him. And that's our goal here at Destiny, is for that to happen. But we've got a lot of uh, visitors this morning, guests I like to call them, because if you visit, you won't come back, but if you're a guest, hopefully you'll return. But we want to welcome you this morning. Uh, we've got a gift mug for you before you leave, so uh, shake our hand and say hi. And for those of you that are Destiny family, I'd like you to make a contact with them and make sure they're welcome before they leave. But we come to worship this morning. If you come to worship, I picked the scripture this morning for Colossians 3.16. Um, Let the word of Christ dwell in you richly. We're going to talk about being in Christ and Christ being in us today. And I thought this scripture really fits appropriately for what we're going to talk about this morning. Let the word of Christ dwell in you richly, teaching and admonishing one another in all wisdom, singing of psalms and hymns and spiritual songs with thankfulness in your hearts to God. That admonishing is a warning or a cautioning. We're to caution one another in wisdom, Scripture says. If we see one another straying a little bit or or doing something a little bit out of line, we're responsible to one another as brothers and sisters to say something. And you know what? If it isn't accepted really well, just, just be quiet and come and say, Pastor Mike, I need you to help me talk to so-and-so. And then we'll talk to them. And we'll just love on them and pray them through. Because hurting people hurt people. But it's up to us to admonish, to build up, to encourage, and to warn when we're out of line. Uh, we're going to uh, sing thankfulness from our hearts to God this morning. We had an awesome Bible study Thursday night about being thankful and praising God for who He is and for what He's done. He is the I Am. There is no one greater than God Almighty, Jesus. So I want you just to relax here a little bit, and you're going to, I'm sure, stand with us and sing, but I just want you to take a deep breath and let the Lord speak to you through the song today. It's really cool for me as a pastor to know what the message is, and then to listen to the songs that the Holy Spirit laid on the worship team, because they always fit right in with the message. It's so amazing to me how the Holy Spirit leads us in the right direction if we allow Him to do it. So uh, let's just worship the Lord with all our hearts. Good morning, everyone. Good morning, Good morning. Good morning. Go ahead and stand. <laughs>
Lord, you're truly faithful. And it's forever, Lord. We can't even wrap our minds around forever. Your word says you'll never leave nor forsake us. And Lord, I'm so grateful that we can trust in you. We have a surety in our life because, boy, every day we get beat up really bad, Lord. We need you. We need Jesus. And Lord, we thank you that you would love us enough to send your son for us. To die. To be raised. And to be at your right hand, interceding for people like us. Lord, we just thank you. We glorify you. We give you all the glory, the praise, and the honor. And we do it in your son's precious name because there's no name above the name of Jesus. Amen. Shake a hand before you sit down. Good morning. shared on uh, email this uh, last week that we're going to take a missions trip to the Dominican Republic the first week of February. There's a school down there that's been sitting in limp mode for a couple of years, and they really need to get that thing up and running, and they would like us to come down and do that. Uh, men and women alike are welcome. We need some plumbing experience, some electrical experience, and just anything else. There's going to be a gamut of things to do. Uh, we have been around these missionaries for 14 years. 
They have been there for over 20 years. They know how to feed Americans in that, that culture so we don't get sick. It's really a cool time to go and be able to do that. So I'd like you to sign up. It's not that you have to go, it's that you would like to go. And then we're going to have uh, Dr. Allen and Eileen come and talk to us and uh, show some clips and get you more excited about it. But we've got to get to raising money. It's going to be a thousand or less, so you need to be putting your pennies in the piggy bank and get ready because we're going to have to lock tickets in and everything, okay? First week of February is when we're going. Uh, it'll probably be from a Saturday to a Saturday. Uh, if the retreat doesn't happen up there, we have several people that want to be baptized. If you want to be baptized, I, I would like you to talk to me. Uh, we'll make different arrangements. We may even, since we're not going to do a retreat, maybe we may just go to Shipjuana and have a, a service up there again and baptize the pool. Or we can go out here to Holiday Inn. We'll, we'll work it out. But if you want to be baptized, we want to know that and get you baptized. Uh, we made an offer on the building. We're $5,000 away. And uh, they're just kind of going through a, a culture thing where they don't get excited. So we're just in limbo about that. But I need you to be praying that if it's God's will for that all to fall in place, it will. Uh, They've come up with 101 excuses why not to sign the offer right now, so it's fine. Get Real Youth started last Wednesday night. We had some kids come in here and just had a really good time. It was awesome. So if you've got anybody that you know that are uh, teens in that, that sixth grade on up, we'd love to have you uh, let us know. Uh, we've got a bus and a van. If we need to run into Kinderville and pick up some kids, we'll use the bus. The van's almost completely full from Alabama. We're bringing that many kids in from Alabama. But that's from 6.30 to 8.30 on Wednesday night. Uh, we've got a call this week for build another ramp. And I told them to go through Qantas so they could pay for it and we would build it. So I'll let you know more about that. But I want to thank everybody that pitched in and helped roof the house out here and build the ramp last week. What a blessing it was. I've heard so many comments. People went by and saw us and how beautiful that looks out there now. So we there was there were a lot of us that put some really, really hard work in it. And I just want to thank you from the bottom of my heart for all that you did for that. Uh, we got a really nice letter this week from them thanking us. And uh, they just, they're beside themselves that we would step out and do something like that for them. It was a major undertaking, but thank God it's over. <laughs> Tuesday, <laughs> Aunt Jerry, can I say amen? Amen, yeah, a little louder, dude. <laughs> Thursday night Bible study is going to start September 3rd. Uh, Dave Gary's going to lead that. They're in the beginning of the Bible. It's simple, going through the Bible. It's laid back, uh, talking, conversation. It's just really cool. Tuesday. Tuesday night. I've got Tuesday night written here. You said Thursday. Oh, I don't know. I probably did. That's my Bible study. I want you all to come Thursday night. Thank you. I've got Tuesday right here as plain as day. 630, 6.30, September 3rd. And all are welcome to come. And just they're just going to open the Bible and just share. And Dave's got some really cool things that lead you in to just simply explaining how the Bible works and what it says and how we apply it to our lives. Where's your suit, dude? We had a wedding in here yesterday. Her favorite aunt set went there. I can say that because they're all the rest of them are gone. But it is, she is your favorite. You know, it's just really cool to watch people grow. Um, God has brought uh, Beth and Joe in here. 
and and their lives is just they're just a glow now and, and their life is on the right path uh, it's so exciting it's confirmation to me that i was supposed to do what we did here it's success stories like that that encourage you to keep it going but um, the family was just beside themselves yesterday. Uh, they kept giving me the praise and the glory, and I had to slap them and say, it's God, it's God, it's God, it's God. I'm not taking an ounce of the glory, it's God. But thank God for you guys, and thank you for taking that step of faithfulness and doing what God instituted this marriage between a man and a woman. Yes.